So we're here today at the Future Industries Institute at the University of South Australia, where I've just dropped off a 150 kilo sample, and I'm about to go and meet with Professor Bill Skinner and talk through all the metallurgical test work that he's doing for us. You, you wouldn't even want to come into this building if you took notice of all those <laughs> <laughs> toxic signs. It's like, I'm not going in there. How I see it with, with iTech's mineral, iTech Minerals Metallurgy is we have a number of stages. So iTech's role is to go and dig it out of the ground and find an ore body. And then it's your role to try to take it from ore grade, which is anywhere from you know seven to ten percent, and then make a concentrate out of that. So that's upgrading it to you know up to 94, 95 percent and getting recoveries of above of 80 percent so um, can you talk me through some of the processes that you you use to do that well particularly for fine graphite which is what you need for feedstock for making ferronization for, for battery anodes there are techniques like flotation but the normal conventional cells they're geared to intermediate size particles and uh, the fines are, are, are sort of fall off well, with sugar loaf uh, the graphite is extremely fine so flotation can struggle and the reason it's difficult to recover, the fine, fineness of the, of the particles means they, they don't contact bubbles very, very, uh, very easily. So you have to use strategies uh, to, uh, to in increase that contact with the bubbles. And then you have to stop, <laughs> you have to stop the waste being recovered at the same time. Yeah. So, uh, so, so that's where the optimization comes. So it's been about between seven and ten years since Archer has done metallurgy on sugarloaf in particular, uh, which is where this research project is, is focused. So would you be able to talk to a little bit about the new technologies that you have here at the Future Industries Institute and what you can do, uh, I guess, in addition to what Archer had done previously? Yeah, a lot, a lot has happened over the last couple of day, decades. As you know, mineral resource is not just graphite, um, but you know, even sulphides are getting finer and finer. So there have been a lot of targeted research and development looking at new flotation cells uh, that can increase the recoverable uh, uh, material in, in the fines. We have one such here, the reflux flotation cell, which is a cell that's been designed specifically to increase the uh, recovery of fine particles while still rejecting very fine gang minerals, so the waste minerals. Because one of the big issues with fine uh, flotation is a lot of waste can be recovered by entrainment, which means it's not actually floating, it's just coming up with the water. Uh, so these technologies are, are, are geared to minimise that. And we can add in uh, beneficial conditions, both chemistries, uh, high, high rate of, uh, of air, bubble swarms, these kinds of things. But in the last take 20 years a lot of technologies now available they just need they need to be proven up basically so it's so one of the other issues that we have is that um, it's not just sugarloaf or lacroma are the projects that we're working on trying to get the graphite out of there's another resource we have called campuna and while we've got quite well established metallurgical processes for that we are um, upgrading that to about 94-95% uh, in a concentrate and getting recoveries of about 80%, but that leaves 20% of the really fine material that's going out to waste. Um, do you think that the work we're doing on the Sugarloaf project with the metallurgy there, focusing on recovering fine graphite, could have some sort of application in recovering that fine graphite from Campuna? Oh, absolutely. And um, well, there's another, there's another uh, opportunity here is if we can with the same strategy as for sugarloaf, recover that, that, that loss from your campuna material, uh, we might be able to design with METS uh, a flotation strategy that can take the ore from either of the deposits and still produce uh, a product. So thereby saving more money, when you, don't have to, uh, you don't have to have two flow sheets. Yeah, no, that, that's exceptional. That's exactly what, what we want to do with this, this project is to you know, think outside the box and bring a whole lot of new technology <coughs> that's been recently developed to bear on this problem and, and hopefully come up with a good result.